So we're here for the first round uh, with Domain Aggro. Uh, we have a one lane hand. Uh, we're going to go ahead and wish our opponent good luck first. Uh, this is not a hand that we're going to be able to keep. We can't cast anything in it, so we'll go down to six. Um, we can cast a Deathrite Shaman here, and that's about it. If we draw any kind of land, we're looking a lot better. Uh, do I want to go down to five? Am I on the play? Uh, I'm on the draw, so I'm going to go ahead. I, I mean, I'm tempted to keep this hand, but it's just uh, not good. I'm going to go down to five. Uh, this is fine. We'll go ahead and keep this. We have removal. Uh, kind of double removal if we get an extra land. So we'll see what we can do with this. And so we're playing against uh, Escape Shift. This is not the good kind of hand that we really want to see against uh, a deck like that. In fact, I'll probably play a Snapcaster just to get some beats down on the side draw, like a, a Lightning Helix or a Lightning Bolt soon with the mana to cast it. I can't remember what the magic turn is. It's seven or eight where they basically blow you out of the water. Uh, that was a good draw. Uh, unfortunately, the time of life is still a zero one. Well, it's gonna be a one two. So, but I don't want to take any. Well, I I'm gonna have to take damage from land. So let's. See if we can make the best of it here. Let's get a uh, stomping ground. And have it come into play untapped. And go ahead and uh, we'll just drop our Tarmogoyf. Let's just hope it lives through this turn. Yeah, against this deck, you basically want to keep your life total as high as possible. Cards like Lightning, Helix, uh, are really good for that. Just because uh, you can make them do their math long. You can Lightning, Helix them at the, at the last second. So... See what he's going to do here. If he bolts the Tarmogoyf, I can path it in response for more mana. I can Snapcaster in response. Uh, that's No, that wouldn't do it because that wouldn't send it to the graveyard. I'm guessing this Tarmogoyf's not going to live, though. Action response, I can Lightning Helix him and bring it to a 3-4. That'd be my best bet. I, I'm just I really don't want to do that because I want to kind of save that as a as a trick just in case he thinks uh, that that's the best way to uh, or that he doesn't do his math wrong. So 
to be another search for tomorrow. So he doesn't have cryptic open. He has mana leak open. I don't know if they play that. So I'm going to lightning helix him at the end of this turn. We'll see if he does anything else. It's going to be a pretty close one. He's down to three cards in his hands, so let's go ahead and uh, see if this resolves. Okay. That was a good draw. So we will go ahead and come in for three again. So, we can kill him next turn if he can't counter us. Keep shift. So that's fine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's pay one life here to get a forest. No, we can't get a forest. Uh, that sucks. So, well, it's still one extra life. Well, no, I guess it's like a break about even. Uh, So any kind of burn spell, we win. Yeah, it's a burn spell. Once well, it has a bolt, of course. So 
that's game one. Uh, let's see. For this one, we definitely want Ley Lines of Sanctity. We definitely want Spell Skites. Or actually, I think I'd rather have Slaughter Games. So for those four cards, uh, I don't think we want. Went to we don't want Mind of Alara again. We don't want Path of Exile. And that will also let us bring in Spell Skite. So I think this probably looks good. I mean, would I rather have Obstinate Bailoff maybe than Spell Skite? Um uh, kind of raises the curve a little higher maybe than I want it to be. I think this is probably fine. Um, actually, I think I'd rather have Mind of Alara than uh, Spell Sky. So let's run with this. Um, this has been fine. One one fetch land, and we can get rid of all escape shifts. search for tomorrow we'll see your visions too bad no ley line in opening hand that would have just sealed the deal Basically, in the next uh, four turns, we want to draw. Okay, well, there's our late line. Uh, let's start with the Temple Garden. So now any land, and we can cap cast late line. Uh, fetch land, we can cast Slaughter Games on turn four. That that's basically what they're hoping for right now. And our timer voice is, is already a two three, which is nice. So right now, uh, what we're probably going to do is uh, drop stomping ground untapped on turn two and drop our. Tarmogoyf and then Hallowed Fountain untapped on turn three and drop Geist. Or we might wait to drop the Geist uh, in order to Lightning Helix back some mana. Or sorry, some life. And our opponent is pondering awfully hard now about what to do with this one breeding pool. Okay, so there you go. So there's our blood crypts. So now we can cast a lot of games on turn four, which is good. So uh, we're still going to drop, our, or I guess that's red too. So we'll drop the blood crypt then untapped on turn two. And we'll get our Tarmogoyf into play and pass the turn. So now he's got counters up. Uh, do I want 
to I don't think we're going to drop the Geist just yet. I think I'm going to play the Stomping Ground Tapped. Well, let's attack first and see what happens. He tries to bolt it. I'm going to Lightning Helix him. Actually, I think we're going to play the, uh, yeah, we're still going to, we'll play the Hallowed Fountain uh, tapped instead. Gives us a little more options. He's got nothing. So now we're going to play this untapped and go ahead and play this. And get rid of his uh, escape shifts. So his hand is Dispel, Snapcaster, Reman. So he does have counter spells in his hand. Uh, no way to counter our Ley Line. Um, yeah, he doesn't have any other way to kill us, really, except for the Scape Shift. So uh, this is now just inevitability. So let me... Go ahead and take a picture of his library real quick. And then, so he's got a Snapcaster, Reman, and a spell in his hand. So let's go ahead and attack. So we, if we play Leila next turn, he's going to remand it. Unless he taps out to play something. Which would be our, you know, our best bet at this point. But I, I doubt he will. Except for like maybe a soccer a tribe or, or some other uh, dinky little creature, but that's still gonna leave Remando mana open. So let's go ahead and try and drop a ley line. He's gonna remand it unless he drew a cryptic command. Oh, he lets it through. I mean, I guess he can bounce it with Cryptic Command. I'm really kind of confused as, as why he didn't decide to remand that. Yeah. 
so he's gonna bounce that, draw a card. That's fine. So he did draw a cryptic command, and he didn't counter the ley line. I, I I'm not sure how he's expecting to win at this point. Unless I may be understanding Volica wrong. So let's go ahead and drop Tarmogoyf. Is this where we're going to see oh, Stabcaster? Okay. And this is where he's going to bounce, bounce the light line. Make him think for a little bit. Oh, he's still drawing a card. I don't know what he's hoping to dig for. So we'll go ahead and get a. Uh, we either need white or blue. We don't need any more black. Let's get a breeding pool. And play a guys to Saint Trapped. So I'm looking over at what he has in his deck now. Uh, other ways he can kill. I'm not seeing any unless they're in their site now because this is per post sideboard. So I'm going to get rid of his cryptic commands next, I think. He only has one other snapcaster in his deck, so... And he doesn't have any big creatures. I mean, he's just delaying the inevitable now. I mean, his deck is... Uh, he's got four Cryptics, two Dispels, two far seeks, uh, three Peer Through Depths, Three main mans, four soccer tribe elders, four search for tomorrows, serum visions, one more snapcaster. Uh, he's only running two vault L cuts and he's running two telling times. So there's our land. Let's see if he counters our snapcaster. If he doesn't, I'm going to solve our game solve right away his cryptic commands. And if he does, then I'm just going to bolt his Snapcaster Mage and, and bring the beats. He really doesn't have any good options at this point. And this is why I've, I've never been... I, I, I don't think that the Scape Ship deck is very good. Just because... I mean, it can be good against cer certain decks, but... I mean, once you get rid of... Uh, Scape Shift, it doesn't have a way to win. So, black, red. So, 
So he's trying to use his other uh, cryptic command at this point is to attack my creatures and draw a card. But he still has three more in the deck. Uh, sorry, two more in the deck. Um, Lane line of sanctity. So he's bouncing that. Uh, that's fine. So he has no permanent counter spells left in the deck now. Uh, this has been sort of an interesting match in, in order, it seems that I've become more of the controlling deck rather than a deck that's basically built to be a controlling deck. Next turn I can swing it for 8. I mean, at this point, he, he's either digging for Volkuts or, I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. He's arranging the top of his deck as we speak. Actually, let's see what he's doing with his cards. Bottom, bottom, bottom top. All right, so he cared about one of the cards. And he has to get it for two. So let's do this. Swing in, see if he drops uh, his last Snapcaster. Nope. So he goes down to two. And let's just finish him off. That attack by his Snapcaster was not smart on his part. No, he's gonna try to remand it now. So let's go ahead and Lightning Helix him instead. And pull him again. So that was round one uh, versus Scapeshift. Uh, we'll be back in a second with the second round.